If you have ongoing exposure to controlling people, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to experience blurry boundaries, which is why I have created the extensive online course called This Is Me, Establishing Boundaries with the Controllers in Your Life. There's a link below that will give you all of the details, and I hope that you would find it therapeutic. Let's begin today by having you remember how many times you have engaged with a narcissistic person and you've walked away from that individual's presence thinking, this person thinks they, they know all that, when in fact, no, they really don't. In fact, there are many times when you try to reason and talk and use logic with a narcissist and all the logic and reason goes flying out the window and you realize how astonishingly low of a matter of self-awareness they operate with. There's just a stupidity factor, just to put it plain and simple, that they operate with. You know, narcissists are, are, are known as being very self-impressed people. That's one of their defining features. And, and they can op operate with you by saying, hey, I need you to look to me and I'm going to tell you the way things ought to be in your life, uh, plain and simple. And then if you try to talk with them about some of the illogic or some of the irresponsibilities or insensitivities of their way, instead of them saying, uh, you know, I need to think that through, what they do is they double down on their illogic and their insensitivities, and they'll say, no, I know what's best, when in fact, clearly, they don't. Now, I have a term for this. I call this the stupid and proud of it syndrome, okay? Now, I want you to think of the classic definition of stupidity. Stupidity means that you just have a, a lack of intelligence or a lack of common sense regarding certain things. Or there, there's a little bit more nuanced uh, definition we could have of stupidity, and that is it's a person that refuses to know what is obvious. Narcissists refuse to acknowledge that sometimes they just don't know everything. In fact, a lot of times they come across as being an expert when in fact, no, they're not. They're just a boor. Now, I, I want to see if I can uh, zero in on multiple things that I'd like to call a narcissist out on that uh, goes straight to their place of stupidity. I'm going to say these out loud, and I'm guessing I'm speaking on behalf of many of you. And let's see if we can get an idea of what this is when we say a person is stupid and proud of it, okay? For example, I'd like to say to that narcissist, you insist that you know the answers to so many problems and you're, you're the one who is the go-to person like an encyclopedia on how things ought to be done. And yet, so many times, you don't have a clue. That's stupid. You're pervasively critical towards other individuals. And yet, you yourself are quite flawed. Uh, you refuse to admit the hypocrisy of your critical attitude. That's stupid. Or you'll never state the words like, I'm not sure. I need to see if I can figure this out. I need to learn more. You won't say that. That's stupid. Uh, when you are arrogant, uh, you think that your arrogance is synonymous with confidence. No, <laughs> that arrogance is just a big red flag that you're grossly insecure. That's stupid. Or we can say that you honestly believe that being controlling and overbearing and pushy with your opinions is a good relationship strategy. Really? You think that somehow or another that you're, uh, you're actually enhancing your relationships and connections by being that way? That's stupid. Now, you expect others to be obsessed with all, all the different kinds of interests or opinions or preferences that you're obsessed about. You want them to have the same kinds of a, a take on life as you do. It doesn't work that way. That's stupid. Or in addition, you can waste your time on all sorts of empty and meaningless behaviors or attitudes or pursuits and somehow or another, you'll declare that your life is quite fulfilling. No, 
That's just stupid. In addition, you can, you can rationalize why it's necessary for people to cater to you and to give you whatever it is you feel like you need when in fact you hardly ever find yourself in a position of serving other individuals. That's stupid. Not only is listening a skill that you haven't uh, mastered, you couldn't care less about listening. What'd you just say? That's stupid. Listening is so important. It's so essential. No, you don't do that. Now, you'll lecture loud and often about how others should be more responsible in the way they do life, when in fact, you are irresponsibility personified so many times. You know what? That's stupid. Do you remember the teaching don't judge other people unless you want to be judged. I'm guessing you must have slept through that lesson because you can be so judgmental in, 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 and so unnecessarily. That's stupid. Now, you think that insults and condescension and ridicule are somehow or another a good way to motivate other individuals. You score lots of points by being that way, and then you walk away thinking, yep, I'm the winner. That's stupid. Doesn't work that way. Your black and white thinking is your go-to mindset in so many episodes. Nuance, exceptions to the rule, uh, you ignore those things altogether. That's stupid. You idealize people who are in power and who have ultimate authority or people who uh, have seemingly attractive external features while at the same time you ignore very decent common individuals, that's stupid. You're a master at shaming people for all sorts of things that you don't like about them, but it's impossible for you to explore your own issues with shame. That's not bright. That's stupid. In addition, if you finally wear another person out with your anger and your stubbornness and your rages and your abuse, you feel like, okay, you've made your point. No, what it means is you've burned yet another bridge. That's stupid. You believe that you, uh, if you might have been rude, well, you know what? It's the other person's fault. No, that's on you too. That's stupid. Now, I could go on and on, and I strongly suspect that you could add more of that stupid kind of comments as well. Uh, let's go back and say that being stupid means that you refuse to know what is obvious. Stupid and proud of it. That's the way so many of these people operate. And uh, when you uh, when you look at them and say, look, we, we can do better than this. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm at the top of the stack. Are you kidding? That's what I'm talking about. So when you are dealing with somebody who has this self-entitled, uh, absurdly self-important kind of mindset to the extent that they operate with astonishingly low self-awareness, don't even think or let yourself believe that you can fix that narcissist stupidity, especially if they just remain puffed up. Ugh, that's my reaction to it. Move on. You can do better and you deserve better. Now, I'm gonna close here right now and I'm gonna quote the infamous or the famous Forrest Gump. Remember in the movie he says, my mama says that stupid is as stupid does. You know what I think about that? I think we need to pay attention to Forrest. And I hope this gives you some food for thought, kind of helps you be aware of what you're dealing with. And I sure hope you don't get caught up in their stupidity. And before you know it, you get caught up in circular arguments and you're down in the ditch with them. Uh, -uh You can do better than that. If you've not already subscribed to this channel, I would encourage you to do so. Hit that, uh, that notification bell and we'll have more videos that come at you and uh, help you understand the whole nature of narcissism. 
If you have a need for therapy, and I know that when you're dealing with these uh, just exasperating individuals, it, it, it can prompt that need. If there's someone in your area that, that, that could help you out, I would strongly encourage you to seek that out. If not, or if you would prefer differently, we have a sponsor, and there's a link below that can take you to online therapy, and there's a whole team of licensed professional therapists that can assist you, and you can select somebody that could assist you in that. Uh, so if, if the need is there, I would encourage you to go through that link and uh, get the help you need. In addition, I have courses, and these are multiple videos with teachings and, uh, and thought-provoking questions. Uh, meant to uh, inspire insight and awareness, and it's a, a very long processing kind of thing inside each course. Uh, this is me about setting boundaries, free to be about finding yourself despite controllers. We also have my books, When Pleasing You is Killing Me, The Anger Trap, and other resources below. Okay, you're dealing many times with the stupid factor, and the number one thing that I hope that you don't do is go into some sort of counter mode, uh, because that means they got you. Uh, like I say, pull away. Stupid is as stupid does. You can't fix stupid. What you can do is you can be your own best person that says, I'm practicing self-care. I'm taking care of me. I'm not going down any kind of uh, uh, direction or path that that person wants me to go in. No, thank you. I want to have steadiness. I want to have decency because I like living as a person of peace. <laughs>